Good day everyone! Today, tuturo ko naman sa inyo kung paano ba gumawa ng e-portfolio in Genio. Okay? So, once na mag-login kayo sa inyong Genio account, nandito kayo sa home, then click nyo lang tong My Tools, then click e-portfolio. Let's click this. Ayan, makikita nyo dyan yung dashboard, add items, style, settings, search e-portfolios, view e-portfolios, and export e-portfolios. So, dito, makikita nyo dito sa right side, may classmates. So, if ever na yung mga classmates nyo gumagawa din sila ng e-portfolio, makikita nyo yan dito sa ilalim ng my classmates. Then, dito, if ever na may nakita kayong e-portfolio at sobrang nagustuhan nyo yun, pwede nyo siya ilagay as your favorite para makikita niya siya dito sa My Favorite e-Portfolios. Okay? So, first, tingnan muna natin tong style. Set up muna natin yung e-Portfolio natin bago tayo gumawa ng sarili nating e-Portfolio. So, dito, Customize e-Portfolio. So, yan, may kita niyo dyan yung team. Kung nung gusto niyong team, click niyo lang. Then, yung layout na gusto niyo. Click nyo lang yan kung gusto nyo may designs or what. Then, your desktop, pwede, nyo, pwede kayo mamili. So, pagtapos na kayong mamili ng design para sa e-portfolio nyo, don't forget to click the save button. Okay? Then, let's go to settings. Dito sa settings, ano nakalagay dito? Self-introduction. So, dito, lagay nyo lang dito sa square na to yung self-introduction about yourself of course because it's self-introduction anyway yan lagay nyo lang yung short introduction about yourself kaning gusto nyong anong gusto nyong ipaalam doon sa mga readers nyo okay then dito search e-portfolio so if ever na meron kayong gustong hanaping e-portfolio dito nyo yan may kita view e-portfolio yan dito nyo may kita yung mga ginagawa nyong e-portfolio Okay? Then, export e-portfolio. Yan. So, if ever na meron kayong e-portfolio dito, pag kinlik nyo yung export, automatic madadownload siya. Okay? So, let's go back to the dashboard. Then, yan. Gawa na tayo ng sarili nating e-portfolio. Click nyo lang tong add item. Let's click this. Then, click the category. Kung easy ba siya, exam, project, requirements, sample, school project, testing category, or third quarter. So, let's click the sample. Then, write the title. So, my e-portfolio. Then, click next. Dito sa description, Pwede kayong maglagay ng short descriptions about your e-portfolio or kung gusto nyo mag-attach ng image, click nyo lang to image upload. Ayan. Then, choose file. Ayan. Any picture. Click nyo lang yung picture na gusto nyo. Then, click this choose. Okay? Then, yan. For the size of the picture, then click upload. Clear? Let's X this for now. Then, kung gusto nyo naman mag-upload ng video, click nyo lang itong video upload. Then, choose file. Then, pag naka na kayo, click choose. Then, save. Clear? Okay, let's X this for now. Then, if ever na gusto nyo kumuha ng video from YouTube, click nyo lang itong YouTube picker. So, pag tapos na kayo mag-attach ng image, video, or link from YouTube, click nyo lang tong next button. Dito, lalagay nyo yung reflections nyo. So, individual reflections. So, three things I enjoyed about this project or activity. Two things I have learned from this project. Or one thing I would do to improve or what I can contribute or how I contribute. So, dito nyo siya lalagay. Pwede kayo maglagay ng add reflections using essay, multiple choice, multiple response, or true or false. So, syempre, para mas madali, essay na lang yung piliin nyo. Then, click save. Okay? Let's go back. Let's click the next. Then, this one, settings. Allow file upload. Check. Peer response, yes. Then, click this create e-portfolio. 
So, dito may kita natin, meron na tayong e-portfolio. Nasa personal siya. Ito yung ginawa nating e-portfolio. Okay? So, kung gusto nyo siyang i-edit, click nyo lang tong edit this item. Babalik na kayo dyan. Click save. So, let's go back to the dashboard. As you can see, meron na tayong two personal e-portfolio. So, view e-portfolio. Dito natin may kita ulit yung mga ginawa natin. So, ito yung ginawa natin kanina. So, if ever na ayaw nyo na siya, ayaw nyo na or nagkamali kayo or gusto yung burahin yung e-portfolio nyo, click nyo lang tong delete or tong X. Okay? Then, wala na siya. So, that's all. If you have questions about Genio, feel free to write it down on the comment section below. Bye!